Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. Dixie Plates just released two new stamping plates and I purchased one of them through Nail Stamping Queen UK. So in this video I'll be swatching and reviewing Spring 01 which is Dixie Plates first layering stamping plate and you can find all the information on where to purchase from along with Dixie Plates Facebook group in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on. And please also like this video. These really help out my channel. Thank you. For the live swatching, I've got my small clear stamper as well as my Born Pretty Jewel White and Clear stamper, my favourite scraper, along with four coloured nail tips which I'll be swatching onto. And I'll be starting with the pinky purple tip and I'll be using a mix of stamping polishes as well. I'm going to start with these flowers right at the bottom and I'll be using a bright pink for the first layer and then a black for the second layer. I'm not the best at layering images but I am getting better at them. Practice really is the key for them and these images are stunning. This swatch isn't perfect but I love it. Using the blue tip for this swatch, I'm going for this image here, this gorgeous large flower. And I'll be using black and white stamping polishes. And there's three parts to this image, so any excess that I pick up, I will be removing with my lint roller. Sorry for being off screen, I am still trying so hard to get used to swatching this way. It really is quite different. For the stem, I'm going to use my small clear stamper for this. I use the top layer image as a guide on where this extra piece needs to be and then using the black for the top layer. Now when I placed this down it was all wrong so I went off camera and redid it again and I have to say it came out quite a bit better. For the third swatch I'm using this bright yellow tip and I'm going for this large ladybug. I'll be using white, black and red stamping polishes for this image. I did then change my mind regarding the brand of stamping polish for the red, which is going to be the main body. Because Dixie Plates images are large, I do prefer to use my larger stamper for the images. I'm using the black for the wings. I have to say everything lines up really, really well and I'll then use the white for the little spots. I love this little guy. He really looks so cool on the yellow base. I'm so happy with how he came out. For my last swatch, I'm going for this flower here, which again is three layers. Using a beige nude tip, for the leafy layer, I'm using a dark brown polish, which I have to say, didn't want to stay down. You do have to work quite quickly with layering. For the second layer, I'm going to use an orange stamping polish, and then for the top layer, it will be red. You may notice my Manny on the nude base that I'm wearing. That's actually from this plate, which I will explain a little bit more later on. The clear jelly stamper stamping polishes work really well with layering because they dry slightly slower. It gives you a little bit more time to get that image laid down right. And then here they are all finally together. I have to say the ladybug is my favorite. I'm so chuffed with how that turned out. So let's move on to the photo swatches. Spring 01 is just full of absolutely fabulous designs. There's a good mix from large to small across the whole plate. I've taken about 25 swatches in total and personally I really can't pick a favourite. For most of the swatches I have used the same large clear stamper that you've just seen me use. Most of them are two layers, but then there are others that are three layers. Using Spring 01 for your spring and summer manis is going to make them look absolutely amazing. And to be fair, it doesn't matter if they don't quite line up, because to be fair, I really like that look. It 
I don't know, it just gives it a little extra. But I have to say, it was so easy to work with and I had a lot of fun creating all these swatches. And I also like layering images to have a darker layer on top. I think this makes the image pop more, but that's just personal preference. I just like them this way. The dragonfly, I really did in the wrong colours. It's quite hard to see the different colours. But overall, Spring 01 is an amazing plate to add to anyone's collection. Dixie plates do make some absolutely stunning plates, which when released, sell out very, very quickly. So for the money, I took inspiration from three different swatches you have just seen to make this money which I have to say I love. I have never used four stamping polishes in one mani before. And the colors I used were yellow, orange, red, and brown. And I've used a nude nail polish for the base. I can't tell you how chuffed I am with this mani. It really was easy to achieve and I really thought it wouldn't work out but it so did. I really didn't want to take this one off. I'll have my live and photo swatches and money over on my Instagram page, which there is a link in the description box, and I'll add what stamping polishes I've used for the money in the next few days. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on Dixie Plates Spring 01. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below, I love to hear from you guys. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.